check out this crazy hanger. We are going to brake test it because I have no idea how this thing is going to break. And we're gonna put rope in it because I have no idea how good it is with the rope. Stay tuned. Hi, I'm Ryan Jinks and welcome to an episode of Bolt Busters where we're gonna talk about this really neat double flappy hanger called a dupla from Boner, Bonier, Bonier. Uh, it's a Brazilian company, so I imagine if you say it with a Portuguese accent, it'll come out right. Put in the comments below how that's supposed to sound. Anyways, this is a 304 stainless hanger. It's three millimeters thick. It's a 30 kilonewton MDS, and you can actually put ropes through here because it has a smooth edge when they put these two sides together compared to a normal climbing hanger that just has the one side. It's actually very clever. This was donated to us by Greg Barnes from the ASCA, the American Safe Climbing Association. They don't just stand in their backyard and talk about bolts, they actually go out and replace them. So uh, go check them out, they're doing a lot of good work. We're gonna brake test ropes inside of this and then we're gonna brake test this because I actually don't know how it's going to break. I imagine through some of this bending here, it stresses the metal and that might be what happens. My favorite part about this is the two year warranty. Whatever that means. Maybe after you install it after two years and you don't like it anymore, you can get your money back. If you die within two years of using this, they'll give you a free hanger to replace the current one. We're not quite sure how their warranty works or what is warranting, or if you dropped it on somebody's head, if they'll replace that part of somebody's head. Never seen a warranty on a bolt, so I'm kind of excited. Maybe you can research that. I'm gonna put the website in the description below about where to find this hanger. Not sure if you can actually get these in the States. I imagine, I imagine with enough money you can do that. There's a lot of good resources in the Bolting Bible. You can check that out on slackline.com. Let me show you some bolting anatomy real quick. So here we have Boltman. He got in a really bad accident during a whipper and you can see what happened to his legs. So he had to get two titanium legs. And uh, we think this is really funny because this looks like a pelvic bone. And here you have uh, the butthole and, and then right inside of there you can see the boner. So that's the belly button by the way. Anyways, I just wasted 20 seconds of your life. So you can run a rope through these, but if you're going to repel, it's good to know that you have to use two of them and you can't place them offset from each other. This is a nice way of setting up climbing anchors. You can see that in a video around here somewhere where we did a whole video on anchors. But if you use these, they have to be sideways and they will twist the rope if you were to run the rope through it. Now you shouldn't be belaying through hangers especially, but any permanent equipment, if you're going to be belaying, use your own stuff. There also is another benefit to these hangers that if you're free soloing half dome or something and you get a little scared, you can a little bit easier stick your finger in there and it's a little bit softer on your finger. So you actually hold yourself with this. It also makes for a good foothold. If you're uh, struggling on a sport route that you just need a little help on. So these have multiple features. If you need a fingerboard and you don't really have any wood, you just have some very rare hangers that you you know, happen to have laying around, you can use these as a uh, monopod fingerboards. So lots of uses for these things. And if you put them together this way and you had four of them, you can do two finger pods. This is just the versatility is endless of the jokes we can make with these. <laughs> Let's just break shit for you guys. Wow, it broke at the hanger. 22.58. Yeah, so when we were breaking the carabiners, it was breaking at like 20, 25 kilonewtons, 26 kilonewtons. Super safe enough, especially if you use two of them. All right, now what are we gonna use? Uh, we are going to use a static rope. This is a rope that you might repel on. Also, if you're rigging a highline anchor, which I do all the time, <laughs> Um, <laughs> you don't. <laughs> uh, you could use this directly into the bolt hangers. That is true. This is great for highline anchors. Kind of 
of like, um, Put in the comments below a good joke for that one. Anyways, let's move on. What happened, Bobby? Oh, the rope broke. Yep, where it At was. Connected. Thirty-one kilonewtons. That's that's cool to see the difference between a static and a dynamic rope. I don't think a carabiner is going to break this if it's it's already been at thirty and it's not broken. Yeah, thirty cmbs. Let's use a soft shackle on it. Well, Bobby's getting that ready, go to slackline.com. We got the bolting Bible on there, super helpful resource. We have a bunch of other books. You can learn all about highlining and we're gonna put our climbing resources on there as well. Thank you so much for those who have donated. Um, I basically, over the last four years, have put $40,000 into this channel and I'm almost at pretty much break even to where I've received over the last four years around $40,000. Um, this morning, uh, Patrick Floner just donated a hundred bucks and Jeffrey Benton donated 20 and Robert Malo just became a $3 per episode Patreon. That kind of stuff really helps. A hundred percent of those donations go back into this channel. It goes into the new dinos we're going to get, the hydraulics that keep screwing up and, uh, our new lab that we're going to take this concrete out. We're going to move to, uh, my welder's house and we're going to have slack snap there, the bolt busters and a drop tower. So we're constantly gonna improve. We're gonna get better on our editing. Uh, in 2021, our goal is to make the episodes and edits better. I appreciate Jose for coming down and Bobby for helping me for like the last two years and <laughs> chipping in a lot. And also to Greg Barnes for donating these hangers. So get involved, appreciate you guys. That's a bummer. <laughs> Curious how uh, soft shackles break? That's how. This thing did not have a lot of life in it, to be fair. 36.68. How are we gonna break this thing? All right, let's, yeah. Let's do it. Was it 45 kilonewtons? Uh, just shy. Shout out to Concrete Screws. <laughs> I guessed it was gonna break here. Bobby guessed it was gonna break where that the most of that bent stress was in the metal. He was right. Sick. Well, check out the, the groove on the what? quick link. Oh, from this? From both sides, yeah. Ooh, well. Don't take 45 kilonewton whippers. All right, I'm very impressed with these. Do you like them, Bobby? Wood whip. <laughs> so that's pretty consistent. We got a little over 44, almost 44 and almost 41 kilonewtons on these. That is pretty much a third stronger than the MBS. I like the way it handled with the ropes. The only reason the soft shackle broke is because, well, we've been using it for years in slack snap and bolt busters. I think these are great if you use them in a high line anchor and because the rope isn't moving in them. If you are gonna repel with these, make sure you use two of them for redundancy and uh, let us know what you think. And if you've seen them on the market, they don't exactly float around here too much, but uh, we'll see if we can buy them and I'm gonna start using them myself. Bobby says they didn't compromise the bolt so much. We ended up using the same bolt and the same hole on all three tests because it didn't bend it too much. I don't know if that's a cause of it being more centered than a hanger being kind of pulled on the side. If you go to slackline.com, we're gonna have a Google form on the homepage that asks you guys how we can make these episodes better. In 2021, I wanna make our episodes way better in editing, in style, in more breaks per video, or maybe not talking between every single break. I tried really hard on the last two breaks not to just yap a lot. So let me know what you think. Let me know if I should put a hat back on. And make sure you uh, like these videos, it really helps. And don't forget to subscribe so you can watch all the shenanigans we're about to do this year. Cheers.